Hey guys, it's Libby. Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new. Sorry about the light. I need to figure out a new angle to film. But today I'm going to do a Friday Reads video for you guys. Because it's Friday. I am working from home today. So um, I have quite a few books that I would like to get to this weekend. Definitely I need to get to one because it's due back to the library on Monday and I will obviously mention it when I get to it because it's at the bottom book in this stack. So I'm trying to adjust the lighting but it's not working for me so just bear with me for this video. Um, so I have six books that I've been wanting to read or they're buddy two of them are actually buddy reads I need to get another one because I think I'm starting a buddy read this weekend with another friend of mine so I need to get with her but the first book I would like to finish and start today and finish it today because it's quite short is So This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim this is the Cinderella Twisted Tale. This is What If Cinderella Never Tried On The Glass Slipper. So this is definitely a take on Cinderella and I'm really looking forward to this. I just finished Part Of Your World last night. So I'm really looking forward to Cinderella. It's another one of my favorites. So I'm hopefully gonna start and finish this today. <laughs> then I have a buddy read that I messaged my friend already, so hopefully he'll get back with me soon, is Blood and Honey by Shelby Herman. We buddy read Serpent and Dove, I want to say back in April this year, so we figured why not buddy read the sequel this year. So I'm really looking forward to where this story goes. I read the first chapter. So, I'm definitely intrigued to see where our characters go from there after the events from the first book. This definitely takes place where Serpent and Dove leaves off, so can't really say much because it, it'll be definitely a spoiler, but it's about our two main characters. One is a witch and one is a witch hunter. One knows that one is a witch hunter, but the other person doesn't know that she's a witch, so, but yeah, they are forced into a marriage, so, really enjoyed the first one, hoping to enjoy the sequel even better, so, there's that one, then I have a reread, that'll be Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, this one, we follow our main character, Stevie, who gets accepted into this academy for gifted students. They only accept so many a year, and turn of events happened right when this academy first opened, and there was kidnapping and murders that happened, and the case was never solved. That was in 1936. So fast forward years later, our main character Stevie, she loves crime, she loves everything to do with crime, she wants to be a detective, and she decides that she wants to finally crack and solve this case that never got solved all those years before. And then when Stevie goes to this academy and starts under covering up the old case, things, twisted events start reappearing and happening once again. So not only is she solving the case that happened many years before, she's also trying to solve the case that is happening in the present day. I really enjoyed this when I first read it, so I'm definitely 
definitely looking forward to this reread because it's going to be quick because I already know the world, so that's exciting. Then I have one that I've started that I need to finish. That is Cryer's War by Nina Ferrella. I can't pronounce that name, but I'm enjoying this so much. I'm almost halfway through. I might finish this today as well. But I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely hard to explain what it's about. So I will definitely link the Goodreads page down below. I need to do that in another video. But I'm enjoying it to say the least. There, I've heard there's a female-female romance in this. So I haven't gotten to the romance part yet. But I'm definitely looking forward to this book. To finishing it and see where my thoughts go. Then I have one that I know I won't finish this weekend, but I want to at least make a good dent in it because it's huge. It's really big. I mentioned this in my TBR video, which is already up and live, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. So, all of these are in my TBR video. But I have Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. This is the other buddy read that I'm waiting for my friend to message me back. So, this is Twilight in Edward's perspective. That's all I'm saying for this one. The last one that I have that's due Monday is one that I'm scared to read because I don't want my heart broken, but also excited to read to see where everything goes. And that is The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kwan. I'm not saying too much because it is the sequel. The first book is The Poppy War, which I really enjoyed. We follow our main character, e. Rin. She studies for this major test in this first in the first book to get accepted into a school because she doesn't want to marry <clears throat> a um oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh jeez. She doesn't want to marry a old man. So she takes the test. And then, surprise, surprise, she ends up passing the test and getting accepted into this school, this military school. She goes, she starts learning things, she finds out who she really is, she finds out she has a magical power, and stuff goes from there. I'm definitely looking forward to this book. So, those are all the books I plan to start this weekend and maybe the last book of white, but we'll see. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me know down below what you guys will be reading this weekend. I would love to know. Like and subscribe, stay a while, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.